the best infield, including the catcher of all time, is the Big Red Machine with you, Perez, Morgan, Concepcion, and Rose. I'm thinking, who is the second best infield in baseball history, in your opinion, modern day? You know, the Dodgers weren't far behind. You know, they had Garvey, Lopes, Russell, and Say. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of hard to beat. And the Phillies were pretty darn good with Smitty at third. Uh, Boa was at say, short. You know, Dave Cash, who I think was at there at times. And, and yeah, I mean, I would have to go back and, you know, you would have to help me on that, your opinions. But uh, we were pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were really good. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't be humble because – we know that we know Rose is a Hall of Fame caliber player. Concepcion, to me, was a Hall of Fame shortstop. You had Morgan and uh, Perez, and then you, which are obviously no doubt Hall of Famers. I also brought this up too. I said you might even agree with me if the game is on the line of all of those players on the Cincinnati Reds, the one guy you would want at the plate with the game on the line is Tony Perez. Yeah, I mean, I want me first. Okay, but, but I'm taking uh, you out of this. But Perez was a okay. a great clutch hitter. Yeah, yeah, and, and and Joe may have been the best player I've ever seen, ever. Period. Better than anybody, Mays, Mantle. Yeah. Be, I mean, that whole group. Joe Morgan was the best player you ever saw. Yeah, wow. I mean, he could get a hit, he could take a walk, he could steal a base, he could hit a home run, and he was and he go on the Gold Glove. Yeah. I don't know if we were the best. We were among the top two. Let me just say that. What, infield? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got, vote for us, but I, I... I got a Hall of Famer at every position, basically. I know. I know. It's uh, it's pretty amazing, isn't it, to put together a team that, like... And how much would you have to pay today? You couldn't keep you, you guys know? together in Cincinnati. No. No. It was, uh, you know, a couple of us, and you know, we'd all be over the wells in the 20s. What was the what most? What would I do with four hundred million today, Dan? <laughs> what would I do? I still, I still talk to you, you would, but it, it you wouldn't would. be as often. Uh, what was the most you ever made? Nine hundred. Nine hundred thousand. I, I made two point two in my entire career. Wow. I made eleven thousand my first year, which was a thousand above the minimum. <laughs> I uh, won the Rookie of the Year. I made twenty. I won MVP. Made forty. I won MVP again. I made eighty. And then I had the lung surgery, and which kind of slowed everything down. So. so Garrett Cole will make the amount of money you made in your career in the month of April. No, in the first two weeks of April. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's four million a month. I mean, easy, and makes more than that. So he's making more than that, and wow. you know, he's got a ten or twelve day grace period. So. And, uh... For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel Two Thirty Nine on Direct TV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.